How NFT scams, rug pulls, honeypots work. It's just a routine in our life now. What is the future of crypto security? With the insane rise of new NFTs projects along with numerous honeypots, rug pulls, NFT fraud, NFT scams, and more, fraudulent websites appear every day to offer more and more ways to avoid FUD. Thus creating more trustworthiness within the investors when they might doubt the token or NFT they're going to invest on. We have seen websites such as CoinMooner with unknown management, no business registration to be found anywhere, business location unknown. Offering to NFT projects creators and tokenito creators, new trust labels such as KYC badge and docs label. They claim KYC, doxing projects, thus scrutinizing project team members paying to obtain the labels or certification. They claim to video call and record team members in the case of rug slash honeypot schemes and upload the video to social groups if later on the project appears to be a scam, so it helps the victims of scams. They insist on telling the project creators interested in the labels that it will improve trustworthiness for their investors and the entire crypto community. A strong statement for websites that have not doxed themselves publicly in the first place and try to remain anonymous as much as possible. This is the major issue in the NFT and crypto space. We have tons of scams popping up every day, claiming big returns for their early investors, with roadmaps that have no consistency and will never be fulfilled. Creators and team members who are not revealing their identities to avoid lawsuits after running away with the investor's money. Be careful when you see these. Websites such as Rug Free Coins, Coinscope, Certic, and so many more, offer security audits for token crowd sales, smart contracts, wallets, NFT projects, Edo, Eco, and much more, while they are operating unknown businesses, we have zero details on them and no way of knowing who is behind such websites. In some cases, they are the scammers themselves trying to create trustworthiness for their own ongoing crypto scams and sell out security audits to raise trustworthiness within investors. Giving a new way for the scammers to claim their legitimacy while hiding behind security audits made by anonymous people. Those websites always require payment to be done only using crypto, so they can avoid using a legit registered business and can avoid giving away their real identities. As an example on Coinscope, in their security audit costing $530, you will often read in the team visibility and communication section, the project audited do not indicate a real profile or name, and have no social links attached to them. That's not a blocker, as many project owners choose to come forward later with an AMA or with links to their real profiles, LinkedIn would be helpful. So, we clearly can read them claiming that a project with no name attached to it can be trusted by early investors. Not surprising coming from a website that isn't revealing their business name, address, owner name, team names, etc. We clearly can see those websites offering a dodgy way to justify not identifying anyone behind dodgy NFT projects and EDOs. Sadly, people not aware enough do believe in those audits and labels. And what about ranking websites? We can see the emergence of websites rankings, listing crypto tokens, EDO, ECO, and NFT projects. Their ranking classification comes along with special paid services to get a project highlighted or get the project on the head of the list, creating the feeling of a project that seems more important than it actually is. Following that, we saw the emergence of websites such as upvoteking.online, tokenpromoters.com, and many more, offering upvotes to get projects on top of a ranking list through fake votes. A website like CoinMooner also has a coin ranking page, and you can pay websites like UpvoteKing to upvote you on CoinMooner for a minimal price, as cheap as 12 cents per upvote. You will, of course, find scam coins and NFT projects preparing rug pulls on top of the list since part of their marketing strategy is to buy upvotes on all websites listing their shit coin or scam NFT projects to lure more people into their scam. It's interesting to note that scam projects are often advertising on their social media, special contests to offer white list slots or airdrops for those who would upvote them on those ranking websites. The majority of upvote websites have unknown management too, and only accept cryptocurrencies payments to avoid lawsuits and taxes while keeping themselves anonymous. Social media isn't that much safer either. On the other hand, you have social media that are very useful for many good reasons, but numerous people use them for scams. I am talking about Reddit, which is full of subreddits related to NFTs, many good subreddits, r slash NFT slash, but also numerous subreddits full of scams NFTs, tokens, Edo, etc. To name a few, r slash Crypto Moon, r slash Safe Moon slash, r slash Crypto Moonshot slash, r slash Crypto Mars slash, r slash Altcoin Moonshots, etc. Many of them have easily over 50k members and are offering paid advertising on their subreddits. The scam coins and upcoming rug pulls NFT projects can advertise their websites, Discord, Twitter, and other social media links, to attract new investors.
Those practices are part of a standard marketing strategy and can be considered legit when it regards legit projects, but the problem is the non-existing scrutinization of those projects. Those subreddit creators care more about the money they can make than avoiding people getting scammed. Reddit seems to be totally careless about those subreddits, probably because it's creating a lot of traffic on their website. Once again, money makes the rules. What about Twitter? Let's talk about Twitter, which also has a big responsibility for the scams happening in the NFT space and crypto space. There are numerous Twitter accounts related to NFTs or cryptocurrencies, including some only made to advertise NFT projects, tokens, Edo, trading calls, etc. Twitter doesn't seem to care about preventing scams going on several accounts despite being proven and obvious. As an example, you have Twitter accounts at CryptoSynthosh get striked with stacking USD at a strand and so many more. They offer paid retweets and mention of the NFT projects or token Edo. Most of them once again care more about the money than preventing their followers from getting scammed. Thus they post constantly anything they get paid for, without checking anything. You have tons of tweets popping up all the time about crypto call group claiming to make you rich in no time, heaps of NFT projects that will make you x 1000% returns in no time, heaps of token Edo claiming to be the next to the moon token, and so on. All of this is thrown into the face of millions of followers without any scrutinizing and often ends up with them being played for a fool, scammed, and having no path to justice. Since we do not have a Krypo and NFT police on the internet, you have a big chance of getting scammed. Scammers and their rug slash honeypot schemes are always one step ahead. It's not something new, and it takes a lot of effort and time to fight against them, spot them, track them down, and remove them from those social media platforms. So, is there anything we can do about it? We won't see any improvement until a strong collective of people gather together to create a crypto watchdog, preventing people from getting scammed, even to help them track down the scammers, finally offering them a possible justice. Some YouTubers and NFT artist agents like myself can raise awareness within the NFT community, thus helping people be more conscientious when looking at NFT projects or token, Edo, Eco, etc. There is a long way to go, so be careful out there. Join Discord NFT Watch. Dog.